In this video, we'll talk about alcohol addiction. We'll learn alcohol consumption is good or bad. We would also learn and look at the harmful effects of alcoholism. So stay tuned till the end of this video and this video is dedicated for general audience, not exclusive to med students or biology students. Alcohol addiction is bad even at a moderate level. We have to understand why. So this is the global alcohol consumption in the world. And you can see in some places they drink 16 liters of alcohol per person. That's a lot. But have you ever wondered why we prefer alcohol so much? Why it is so addictive? What is the cause behind alcohol addiction? Many people say it reduces their anxiety. It makes them feel good and it calms them down. Are these things true? Well, let's find out. So let's learn what is the biology behind the alcohol addiction. In order to understand that, we have to understand how alcohol is affecting our brain. So once alcohol is consumed, it leaves our gastrointestinal system and it enters the bloodstream. While in the bloodstream, it can circulate throughout the body and can eventually reach our brain. Our brain is protected by the blood-brain barrier and it doesn't allow anything to get inside. But alcohol can easily make its way through the blood-brain bar barrier and can reach the brain. Now once in the brain, alcohol affects several pathways. One of the major neuro neurological pathways that alcohol affects is the dopaminergic system. There are several dopaminergic pathways, mesocortical pathway, nigrostriatal pathway, and mesolimbic pathway. Anyway, these names are not important. But what is important is this mesolimbic pathway is important for our reward. And this is responsible for giving us the feeling of pleasure and euphoria. And alcohol affects this particular pathway. That kind of explains why we feel good after drinking alcohol and our brain wants more alcohol. So this was the basis of alcohol addiction. Alcohol does more to our brain. It affects the nucleus accumbens amygdala, which are both responsible for giving us that satisfying feeling after alcohol consumption. It affects the hippocampus and sometimes it affects the memory. So when we see our blackout like situation after consumption of alcohol, it's due to that. Alcohol can affect medulla oblongata and cerebellum. Both of these brain structures are associated with motor coordination. So obviously there would be poor motor coordination and sluggish reflexes. And in terms of the entire cortex, which process all the higher order behavior, alcohol slows the cortical activity down. That's why we feel drowsy. Now the mechanism by which alcohol slows the activity down is by agonizing the GABA receptors. So it acts on the GABA, GABA receptors and brings down the activity of overall neuronal circuits. Now that is why we feel dizzy after alcohol and alcohol is a potent sedative as well. Alcohol consumption, consumption increases the global alcohol, uh, global cancer burden. So total 4% of the cancer diagnosed in 2020 was due to alcohol consumption. People would think if I consume moderate alcohol, it's good. Now all the cancers that were attributed to alcohol consumption, 13.9% was due to moderate consumption. So moderate consu consumers are not really safe. And 76.7% .7 of alcohol attributed to cancer in men. So men are more vulnerable compared to females. So around 2020, 7540 uh, males were affected in cancer. And among them, all these cases in males were due to alcohol. Whereas uh, 1 lakh 70,000 individual were affected by uh, cancer in females. And it has been seen heavy drinkers were 56% of them and females were like 18% were heavy drinker. But the risk was also there 
in moderate drinker or people who drink a little bit than moderate so alcohol is overall a depressant it makes everything go slow it reduces your heart rate it reduces blood pressure reduces the brain activity overall it bring down your consciousness and you feel dizzy alcohol consumption has a bad toll on your reproductive health it reduces your sperm count it changes the morphology of the sperms and motility of the sperms all of these reduce the chance of a successful reproduction for pregnant women alcohol is super bad because it can affect the developing womb and brain development of the baby it can lead to premature birth and also it can lead to low weight during the birth and sometime the child are born with autistic behavior so alcohol consumption is overall bad and it affects our liver because this is the tissue which metabolize alcohol so drinking a large amount of alcohol even just for few days can change the liver composition it can allow deposition of fat into the liver and this is known as fatty liver disease and in extreme situation there would be cirrhosis of the liver where a lot of fat has been accumulated in the liver and liver is significantly scarred and damaged so in short there are a lot of harm harmful consequences of alcohol consumption alcohol is addictive it drags you into these harmful consequence so this is the time to say no to alcohol in order to spread this awareness share this video with your friends and your peers if you want notes and flashcards you can get in my facebook page or in my instagram page all the links are provided in description you can support my channel by clicking on the super thanks option which is in the bottom right corner of the video you can pay using paytm paypal or bhim upi app anyway all my social media links are provided in the description you can check them out anytime see you in next video